Once again, big event uh, in Poland and Michael Sims is needed here. Uh, how do you rate uh, Pavel Kowodzi's strengths and weaknesses after, after so far three sparring sessions with him? Uh, I rate him pretty high. He's a good boxer, good movement. Um, he's very calculated, smart. Um, he uses a lot of intelligence. He's not just punching just to be punching. Um, his movement is real slick, real good. Um, his power is deceiving. He, he can punch. And he throws good combinations off his jab. So he's, he's difficult to figure out sometimes. Mm -hmm. so. Do you agree that uh, his arm length is his be very big advantage? Yeah, because I'm tall and he's tall, but I think it reaches longer than mine. So and that kind of, I, I underestimated at times, you know, despite, I know I'm smart, but his jab is very deceiving. Even if you drop his hand low, he still can touch you if he wants. Mm -hmm. You also fought with Ola Afolabi. Mm -hmm. What's your prediction of this fight? Uh, it's, it's, that one I would say is a toss up. It's a good fight because Alafabi is really um, awkward, you know, and another thing with him, he has long arms and he throws very unorthodox punches and he's heavy handed, so he does pack a little whop. So, um, my prediction, I think that um, Paul will um, outbox him. Mm -hmm. So, you think Pavel is ready for that challenge? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think uh, Alafabi will be that much of a danger. If so, it'll be early in the first few rounds. But if uh, Paul moves the way he moves and sparring, he should, he'll outbox him. Mm -hmm. So if uh, Pavel doesn't move inside uh, and try to bank with him, just to try to outbox him, it should be easy night for him? Easy night, yeah. If he just sits out there and outbox him. Mm -hmm. And he can pick his moments when he wants to go forward and try to bang him mm -hmm. and lands that right hand and throw combination. But for the most part, I think his game plan should be just to go out there and outbox him. Mm -hmm. In March this year, you also sparred with Krzysztof Wodarczyk, WBC Cruiserweight champion of the world. Can you compare our two Cruiserweights? Uh, they both good fighters. Um, Strength-wise, I have to give 100% power to Kristoff uh, Diablo. Diablo is very, very strong. Um, but you got a, a boxer banger, and then you got Paul, who's a boxer, the thoroughbred boxer. So it's a difference in technique and styles, but they both good fighters. Mm -hmm. Do you think Pavel, if he beats Ola Afolabi, do you think is he, he's ready for the world title shot? I, I would say he'll be right there. You know, maybe after this fight, maybe one more um, good tuna fight. Um, make sure he's relaxed and poised and mentally he's ready. Mm -hmm. And then he can start taking the next step. Mm -hmm. But he's definitely got the goods.